as promised, we're going to talk about the Nazi throat goat. That is not my nickname for her, by the way. I did not make that up. I am just relaying the message from someone who knows Laura Loomer very well. His name is Milo Yiannopoulos. You guys probably remember Milo. Uh, he once was a gay man, and then he uh, got conversion therapy. Now he's definitely not gay, super straight. Um, he's been in right-wing circles a lot. He actually helped Marjorie Taylor Greene run one of her campaigns, the last one. Uh, I think even living at her house with her. Uh, he helped on Laura Loomer's campaign in 2022, her run for Congress in Florida. He also is another character in the saga of Kanye West. You remember Kanye West when he did his I Love Hitler tour with Nick Fuentes, the America First neo-Nazi? Yeah, Milo was right there alongside of him. Milo was on TimCast, on Tim Pool's uh, podcast with Kanye West and with Nick Fuentes spreading their neo-Nazi Hitler love, right? That's who Milo is. I'm just trying to paint the picture here of who this person is, because I'm going to show you over the weekend, Milo has uh, been going uh, throat deep on Laura Loomer. Holy shit, just airing all the laundry. Now, I don't know if I believe Milo, honestly. Fuck, I don't know. Anyone who's ever been associated with Marjorie Taylor Greene, Laura Loomer, Donald Trump in any way, shape, or form, you can pretty much bet that anything they say is a fucking lie. And that they're, at best, they're being disingenuous. So I don't know. I don't know if this shit's the truth. I'm just showing you the fucking feud that's going on inside MAGA. Because it also feels like that maybe, just maybe, there are certain distractions that a person needs uh, from this fucking fool, Laura Loomer, being part of the Trump campaign. So much so that she seems to be attached at the balls with her lips. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. I mean, yesterday after the shooting, um, she went to... <laughs> I'm going to tell on myself here. Maybe I shouldn't say this. I don't know. Fuck it. Why not? Um, she went to uh, South Florida after the they apprehended the shooter, quote unquote, the shooter who didn't shoot. So the person, the suspect, we should say, he's not a shooter. He didn't fucking fire the rifle. To apprehend the suspect, uh, she went to South Florida to, to report. And it's kind of funny how she put it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just an asshole. It is possible that I'm just an asshole here. It really is. The, yeah, the gunman. There you go. The gunman. Maybe. He had a gun. He's a man. She's a gunman. Um, but Laura Loomer went to report about this situation in South Florida. Uh, and she posted it on her Twitter page. And I responded. Again, I probably shouldn't even do this. But, you know, I'm going to say it out loud. I don't give a shit. What the hell's the difference, right, at this point? Shouldn't we have transparency in what everyone says? Tony, you're sexist. It's a sexist thing. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I'm just pointing it out. Just pointing it out is all I'm doing. If I can find it, I'll show it to you. <laughs> if I can find it. Um, maybe not. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. There's so much um, going on. And I know sometimes it's hard for me to find stuff, but. We'll find it here. We'll find this tweet that Laura Loomer made sure to let everyone know that she went down to South Florida to make sure to report on this. And I asked her a question because she said she was on the ground. And so she said, Laura Loomer described the situation where she was on the ground. In South Florida. And I, I said, I politely said, politely now, I was polite about it. I said on the ground, 
Did you make sure to have your knee pads? I don't know. I don't know. According to Milo, according to Milo, that would be my assumption. What Milo has been posting. That would be my assumption. About the situation between Laura Loomer and Donald Trump. And I actually believe my belief is, is that Laura Loomer and Chris LaSavita, Susie Wiles, Corey Lewandowski. Paired with Stephen Miller are the ones who have convinced Donald Trump. Who has ordered J.D. Vance. To spread these lies about Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio. Great create, job with your poopies. And create a situation in there that, again, is creating violence all over the country. But let me show you what Milo says about Laura Loomer, who I suspect is kind of at the heart of these lies and violence. Uh, Milo says, I regret to inform you that there is near zero chance Laura Loomer is pregnant. <laughs> okay all right well there's been speculation running around the internet that uh, laura loomer has a baby bump maybe just too much caviar down at mar lago which has created that uh, little pooch you know you, you eat a little too much you, you get a little belly on you you know i'm a little heavier than i'd like to be right now and i'm not gonna lie i like to stress eat right now you know i got a lot of shit going on got a lot of things to think about you need to get uh you need to get right with yourself I need to lose a little weight too, Laura. It's okay. Now, mine's not caused from caviar. It's like donuts, you know, and candy. I don't have the luxury of going to a, a golf resort, a country club to scarf down on caviar. But maybe, maybe Milo's right. Maybe she's not pregnant. She just, you know, got a little, but it, there's nothing wrong with that. Just, it happens. Um, but he goes on to say the president doesn't really have that kind of sex anymore. <laughs> now, I don't think he's talking about Joe Biden. OK, I don't think he's talking about Joe Biden here. When he says the president, I believe he's talking about the former president who resides at Mar-a-Lago, where Laura Loomer apparently has been staying a lot. He goes on to say, according to those close to him, meaning Trump, and certainly not with mistresses. Uh-oh. It's almost exclusively blowjobs. These are not my words. These are Milo's. So what Milo is alluding here is that Laura Loomer is definitely not pregnant because Laura Loomer is not having sex with Trump because Trump can't have that kind of sex anymore. He just receives fellatio. I, again, I don't know how much you believe Milo. Now, I don't believe a lot of shit that he says, but he is in a feud with Laura Loomer. This is where you can count on the fascist kind of telling the truth every once in a while. Now, again, you got to remember how fascists do this shit, right? They take a crumb of the truth and then they create an entire storyline around this whole thing, right? So maybe the truth is, is that yes, people close to Donald Trump have said that Laura Loomer is probably most certainly giving him fellatio and Milo have created this whole post based on one person, a couple people telling him that down at Mar-a-Lago, Laura Loomer has been on her, on the ground, <laughs> on the ground, apparently, uh, down there in South Florida. But Milo goes on, he doesn't stop there. Uh, he says, Laura Loomer is telling our mutual friends, okay, that her quote-unquote intimate relationship with the president has led to quote-unquote, <coughs> hang on, I don't want to puke when I say this, <coughs> good God, <coughs> quote-unquote, the best blow job is life, Ugh. <coughs> Those are his words, according to Laura. Okay. So Milo's and Laura's mutual friends, which they have a lot. Nazis hang out with Nazis, see? And so when Nazis hang out with Nazis, they got a lot of fucking, they got a lot of fascists in their friend group. You know what I mean? Uh, 
I don't have to tell you. Again, I, I don't have any evidence substantiating this. I'm just showing you what fucking Laura Loomer's friends are saying about her hanging out with Trump and what apparently Milo is claiming mutual friends are saying what Laura is saying about the relationship. <coughs> Woo! Holy shit. <clears throat> Whoosh. All right. Now, there's one other thing that I want to show you, and I think this is way more important than the blowjob duck. Okay? Way more important than the blowjob duck. Because I got to reel you in, you know? You got to you gotta grab people and get them into the story. You know, really tell them, tell them, to tell them the real story. You got to kind of grab them sometimes with attention grabbers. <clears throat> And blowjob talk normally gets people's attention. Well, blowjobs? You say blowjobs, Tony? Yeah, blowjobs. I said blowjobs. But Milo also uh, posted this screenshot, which I think is fucking juicy. <laughs> the reason why... This is juicy is because this appears, whether it is real or not, or it is fabricated, I do not know. My guess is that it's real, because if it was fake, Laura Loomer would probably be be, be suing Milo Yiannopoulos almost immediately, sending him a cease and desist, which, if he is uh, producing false information like this to defame her, it would probably result in him having a defamation suit, which I don't know that there's been a threat of. But this appears to be an itemized expense log from 2022. And it appears to be an expense log from somebody's campaign in 2022. So I don't know if, the, if this spreadsheet that Milo Yiannopoulos has put on Twitter out in the public with several dozen transactions. I mean, the, the list goes uh, from campaign merchandise for $3,500, digital management, $5,400, compliance services, $4,000, fuel and mileage, almost $500. Uh, more software, 750, digital management, 223, event ticket, 300. Um, this goes on and on. Text messaging services, uh, payment processing fees, event planning services, which are in the thousands of dollars, uh, printing business cards and postcards, $8,000, uh, online fundraising fees, $12,000. Uh, photography, twelve fifty. dollars more online fundraising fees, $8,000. Now, this is all very typical in a political campaign, right? And these amounts are kind of high, especially for someone like Laura Loomer, who got her ass spanked in the 2022 election. You remember she was crying. <laughs> she was crying when she lost, if you remember those famous pictures. Seems like a lot of fucking money to lose to me. I'm just... I'm just kind of pointing that out, you know. But I don't know if this is real. I have no idea. I'm just telling you that Milo Yiannopoulos and Laura Loomer are in a feud right now. And when they're digging their political grave, I'm not going to take the shovel out of their hand. <laughs> oh, hell no. I'm going to get them a fucking backhoe. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I You know what? I want to send out uh, an invitation. Because I hate this scumbag. He's a total piece of trash. He's a fascist fuck. He's a propagandist. He's a liar. A known liar. But I 100% Milo will have you come on this show. And you can air any dirty laundry that you want to. About Laura Loomer on the Tony Michaels podcast. I will allow you to do that. <laughs> will welcome you to come on the show. And air anything that you would wish. On this broadcast about Laura Loomer that you think is true. <laughs> Come on. Come tell us about the Nazi throat goat, as you refer to her. 
Come on the show, Milo. I'll let you fucking air. I mean, I'm going to tell you how I feel about you, too. We're probably going to get into it a time or two, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all right if we disagree. Because our disagreement seems to be mutual to some degree. <laughs> so I have an open invitation to Milo to come on the show and say whatever the fuck he wants to say about Laura Loomer. And we'll make it news, baby. Oh, fuck. We'll make it news. You'll definitely get your shit out there the way that you want it out there. Again, <clears throat> open invitation for him. And I'd like to see, Milo, I'd like to see more of this spreadsheet if you've got it. If you want to post it on your account. <laughs> so that's the, the Milo versus Loomer saga that is happening over the weekend, too. Uh, apparently... Also, to to wrap up this uh, saga here, uh, Laura Loomer was uh, barred from being on Trump's plane, and apparently it was told that she was barred to be within his his presence or something. I'm not I'm not really sure. I don't know how real that is. Maybe it's just a just something that they're saying uh, to keep <laughs> to fend off more reports. Oh boy, oh 